Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 27th, 2020. Well, last week, we spent most of the week chopping sideways in a very wide range that actually consists of about 1,700 Dow points. And this morning, we are looking for a gap up open. So what does that mean for today? Well, let's take a look at um, the technicals of the chart. Let's see if we can determine how we want to approach the market for the day. So let's grab ourselves something to drink, settle in, and let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, we have kind of an interesting situation where Dow futures actually opened the day down, but are now pushing higher. We had a couple things overnight come out. Uh, Japan um, eased monetary policy again. We have um, Europe kind of looking forward to a little bit more reduction in the lockdown over there as Boris Johnson um, is talking about opening up some of the UK here soon. And just a little bit of levity coming in. And that turned those Dow futures and um, US futures, I should say, around and started pushing them back up. So this morning we're looking at a gap up open of around 200 points and as you can see right here, by the way, anyone who has never seen uh, these videos before, TC2000 has this really cool feature where we can actually see, or I can see the bid ass spread here in the morning of the indexes with that little triangle. So. Right now, what we're looking at is we're looking a gap up open here this morning that's going to move us back up here and maybe t up toward that resistance of this consolidation. Now, if we take a look at our trend, and I'm going to ignore this um, this little abandoned baby here, push this up, you can see we're holding right in there on that trend. So that's a bullish sign. We're hanging in there. No one seemingly wants to sell. What's dangerous about this move is even though these candles look a little teeny tiny movement in here, we know that this range from here to here on the Dow is about 1700 points. So pretty substantial price moves can occur in there. And um, that gives us um, quite a little bit of risk on a week where we face a tremendous amount of data. We'll be talking about that data here in just a second. But technically, we're holding up really, really well. We've got to give this one up to the bulls. And pushing up here this morning, we'll be testing some of those resistance highs. Now, part of the negative here that we have to kind of keep in mind is that we're pushing right up into that 50-day moving average. Now, this morning, our gap up in here is going to be right up at that 50-day. Will we be able to cross over and hold it? That's going to be the question. Keep in mind that that 50 is still dropping um, on the chart. Even with all of this consolidation, we've not had the chance of that to turn up just yet. So holding into a trend, a bullish trend, testing the 50-day resistance. And notice that we've popped up here before and did not find the ability to hold that. So let's keep an eye on that. Remember, we have a big round of earnings today. Anything is possible. And let's keep in mind that we are still below our 500 day and our um, 200 day moving averages here and that we have rallied off of these lows. If we were to measure between here and where we're opening this morning, um, we're over 30% off of those lows. So tremendous rally here in, in that comeback. Can we defeat that 50 day moving average? That'll be the question. Let's take a look at um, the SPY here quickly. If we take a look at the SPY, we've got a very, very similar situation here where we're gonna be gapping up and we're gonna be testing this resistance high. Now keep in mind, this resistance high has a little bit more going on here than a lot of people think. Um, initially, we've got a lot of price action right in here. 
providing that potential resistance. So we'll have to stay focused on that. But once again, if I kind of ignore that candle right here, run that trend, we're holding into a very nice trend, holding up bullishly, and we're gonna be bouncing up here and holding above that 50 day moving average. As you can see, we held it on Friday, holding in here, and now we're trying to gap higher this morning. I need to move this line up here because that resistance of the chart is right up here where we're gonna be testing this morning, right up here in that price resistance. So we're gonna push up into this level right in here and see if we can actually pop through there. Holding that 50 day is a bullish sign. That's a good thing for the market. Holding trend is a good sign. So we'll wanna just keep an eye on that this morning. Remember, anything is possible as we push back up here. And once again, we have pushed this up this morning. Um, the SPY will be up 30% off of its lows. That is a remarkable rally considering the the terrible numbers that are coming out in earnings and um, uh, company expectations. So it's going to be an interesting situation. Also, what's interesting this morning is West Texas crude is sliding south. It's down about 16%, just barely above $14 a barrel. And this morning so far, the market is choosing to ignore that. Now, last week, that was a big deal. Why it's not a big deal this morning, I don't know. But um, we'll want to keep an eye on that this morning. Sometimes we can gap up right into resistance and find sellers up there. So you'll want to be careful if we happen to pop into that resistance level and then find sellers to push us right back down. So watch that closely this morning. Be careful not to rush in with the idea, uh, well, with that fear of missing out or wanting to chase in, uh, particularly when we're pushing into resistance levels. Let's take a look at the Qs. Now the Qs, obviously the strongest of the indexes. And if we take a look at this really closely, you can see this morning we're gapping up into that resistance high that we're really, really close here, uh, pushing right into this level. And that resistance, actually I'm gonna move this line just a tiny little bit here. We're gapping right about into there. So we're up here testing these highs of a couple of weeks ago and we're pushing these resistance levels in the chart. And once again, we're holding in here on a trend. One thing I will say is the quality of trend here in the, the queues is, is really, really strong, but it may also be just a little bit stretched. And so we'll wanna watch this up here. If we pop up here and find those sellers, that pullback that might occur. Can't say that that's going to help excuse me, going to happen. Only the possibility that we're pushing really, really high in, in this move uh, back up. One thing I wanna also point out is uh, if I measure from the low right here up to where we're opening up this morning, um, the NASDAQ is up 31% off of its lows. So that's an amazing rally considering, well, once again, the actual numbers that we're seeing in these businesses. Um, how much longer these bulls can maintain this upside pressure? Uh, I, honestly, has been surprising to me in the face of so much bad economic data. But we'll, we'll have to watch, wait and see. Could we push right on through? And yes, I think we can. And notice that we're holding our 50 day moving average. Now, one thing I would point out is that 50 day moving average hasn't even had a chance to turn around it's still diving and will likely cross down below the 200 day moving average um, here this week before it has a chance to turn back up and that's because this rally has been so steep and so um, intense that the averages haven't even had a chance to recover or respond just yet and that that gives me a little bit of pause and something I want to be very focused on the price action here as we move forward. Let's take a look at IWM. Now, IWM is the weakest of the indexes by far. IWM has been struggling just like the other indexes in this price range here. And let's notice that that price range is still underneath the 2018 lows here in the market. We've not been able to recover that. So overall, if we were to measure here, IWM has only recovered, let's go to this morning's open, it's recovered 27%. So it's still lagging behind the rest of the market and still lagging behind these 
these resistance levels. So we've got a lot more work here on IWM to take care of, but it may actually break through the upside of that resistance here today. And we may be pushing up here toward that 50 day moving average that's still declining very, very sharply, but still um, that is a bullish uh, signal that we're going to hold up here this morning and test that 50 day. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX had a nice decline on Friday, just really, really sharp decline um, on Friday, showing that fear is starting to drop out of the market. That's helping in a lot of different places. That's helping um, our option prices considerably as they, they're starting to tighten up a little bit. But let's also keep in mind that if we take a look, I'm gonna put some drawings on the chart, that we're right in here, we're testing some support levels. With this gap up this morning, I'm guessing we're going to drop down down below here but if we happen to find some sellers when we pop into that 50-day resistance just be careful because that could reverse and come back we'll want to watch that close but we're right in there on that crossover place where we could really slip down in here into those um, um, low 30s in the VIX and that would be really nice because that would bring those option prices back in a little bit and help us out an awful lot there so let's watch that closely this week let's take a look at T2122. Now this is where my major concern comes in. T2122 is actually still quite elevated. You can see we closed Friday right in here. And this gap up open is going to push us right back up here into this bearish reversal zone. And that bothers me a little bit as we're pushing uh, the 50-day moving average and push, pushing big price resistance in the chart. So we're going to want to watch that closely and we're going to want to be careful not to rush in with a fear of missing out this morning just in case we pop up there and that's exactly where we find some sellers. Can't say that that's going to be the case. We're just going to have to stay focused on price action. But that does give me a little bit of concern that we're we're so bullish that we're just ignoring anything that might be potentially bearish and that does concern me in case those sellers do respond back so watch that close let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today what's interesting is our economic calendar is massive this week we have a huge economic calendar but we have a light day today there's virtually nothing going on here but some bond options options um, maybe to pay attention to but really nothing going on here today that's going to move the market but let's take a look at the rest of the week oh my goodness we've got international trading goods we've got um, s um, s p core logic we've got consumer confidence gdp pending home sales by the way the beginning of the fomc meeting i glazed right on past that that begins tomorrow we have petroleum we have fomc announcement and a fed chair conference call we have those jobless pesky jobless claims that continue to show more and more unemployment as we reach that uh, kind of stretching out toward great depression unemployment numbers here um, in the market we've got personal incomes and outlays employment cost chicago pmi um, and then that just moves right into Friday. What's interesting is they appear, according to this calendar, and maybe there's something wrong here, but normally we get an employment situation number on the first Friday of the month. But it may be just because we have such a jam-packed week, they may have pushed that off until next week for that employment situation number. So we'll wanna keep an eye on that as um, we progress um, toward there. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. Now we have a big day of, of earnings, but we have a massive week this week of earnings. Right now, the econ or the earnings calendar, uh, we've got over 160 companies reporting today. Um, I'm showing on the calendar 238 companies Tuesday, 316 on Wednesday, 442 on Thursday, and then we drop back off to 86 on Friday. Now those numbers will move around a little bit as we progress through the week but just keep in mind we have a massive week of earnings reports and we're going to slide into a heavy tech 
um, earnings uh, period here. So a lot of uh, tech earnings will be coming out um, as we move through the week. Let's take a look at some of the stocks that could be um, affected today by those earnings reports, some of the notables. And I've picked out a few here to just take a real quick look at. BRO, Brown & Brown will be reporting this morning. You can see bid ask spread is extremely wide. We haven't seen that report yet. So wide bid ask spread, but keep an eye on Brown & Brown. Um, CE, CE will be reporting today. It looks like the bid ask spread is wide, but it looks like it's pushing higher, trying to move on up here this morning. So you might want to keep an eye on CE. CINF, CINF reporting this morning. Uh, bid ask spread is so wide you can't even it's hard to know. They've spread this thing out incredibly. They must be waiting for that report. So keep an eye on Cincinnati Financial. Um, CLR, CLR reporting this morning. Looks like it is moving just slightly lower this morning. Um, CRSP, CRSP reporting this morning. It's kind of hanging in there. Just a little wide bit of spread, probably still waiting for that report this morning. Uh, KDP. KDP reporting today. Kerrig. Looks like it is trying to show a little bit of bullishness this morning. Looks like it, the bid ass is really wide, still waiting for that report. Um, NXPI will be reporting this morning and it is gapping up this morning. Looks like we got a positive report here in NXPI. OMF, OMF also gapping slightly higher this morning. PKG is also big wide bid ass spread, no report there, but one we want to keep an eye on. And PPG is the last of the notables that I have this morning that may be reporting. And you can see wide bid ass spread there, no report as of now on that um, stock. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do, if you guys could do me a favor, if you have never seen these videos before and you find these videos to be helpful if you could do me a favor click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon so you can be notified every time i post one of these videos and i hope what you're seeing here is a little bit different than you may have seen in other places where i don't provide any of the hype or prediction as to which way the market's going to go because honestly there's no way to know that. And anyone that tells you they can predict the market, I would be, uh, I would run from that person uh, <laughs> because there's no way, there's too many factors out there to predict. Now, there certainly are things that we want to pay attention to. And those are the kind of things that I like to point out here in the market, the technicals, the price action. Price is king. And if we can follow the price action of the market, we can do very, very well as traders. And I've been able to uh, make a full-time living out of this for the last 15 years. So if you find these videos to be helpful, could you please click that thumbs up button and also leave a brief comment? Helps us continue to grow. And I just want to say thank you to everyone who does do that do that you guys are awesome and i truly truly appreciate it so with that let's have a look at a few stocks that could be setting up and ones that we want to might want to pay attention to as we move forward through this week and there's quite a few stocks um, in really really good patterns because the market has just been setting up in really good patterns um I've been watching this APA, and this was my price alert on APA, and it rallied up strongly. Now I'm expecting some kind of a pullback here on these stocks, and and and, and APA is just one stock that is looking good in the oil sector. Um, I've mentioned before, I'm holding XLE, XLE in the energy sector and have a very nice profit in this trade. And I'm expecting this to pull back or consolidate a little bit. It's pulling back a little bit this morning, but I wanna watch this in here for that potential next entry into the trade. And you, know, you could look at a lot of different oil sector socks, um, CVX, for example, beautiful potential trade here, beautiful potential setup, as you can see, holding into this trend. Might slide sideways here a little bit. Proof to hold that 50-day moving average if buyers can step up in there. Uh, that might come back up. And I expect, you know, eventually, um, energy prices are going to come back up. 
Um, whether whether they have another slide south, I can't tell you. They easily could because the numbers out there are not good. The demand has just been crushed by the coronavirus. But um, I expect them to come back. So keep an eye on some of these energy sector stocks. They look pretty darn good. I've been keeping an eye on this CGC and, and um uh, honestly, I'm holding a position in CG CGC. Had a nice move on Friday. That was a beautiful move up, and we're going to gap up this morning. Nice little pop up here. So that's looking pretty good, breaking back above its 50-day moving average. There might be some opportunity here on some of these cannabis plays. Keep an eye on that this morning. Uh, CGC having a, a nice pattern here. There was no one that wanted to sell this, and we're just popping through that 50-day moving average. So kind of keep an eye on CGC might be something that could interest you. Another place that's just been really, really interesting, and you can see I've had alerts on these charts. Uh, we're pushing up into that 50 day moving average here on Caesars Palace. Nice little push up. We know that Las Vegas is going to try and start opening up soon and uh, pushing back up into uh, these levels. We've got some nice chart patterns on um, CZR, um, Win, whoops, Win Casinos looking in that positive pattern, um, LVS. LVS has had more of a struggle down here. As you can see on Friday, left behind a bearish engulfing, but we're gapping up a bit this morning. So keep an eye on some of these casino stocks. They're trying to come back around and trying to show some strength in different places. Other places you might want to look is in the financial sector. Um, I'm starting to nibble my way into um, XLF, and I'm, I'm looking for a longer term hold here. Just kind of like with my energy trade, I'm looking for a longer term hold and, and a bounce back. But you can see XLF holding in this trend, and it is popping up slightly here this morning, trying to move a little bit higher. Maybe a rally up into that 50 day uh, is possible, but keep an eye on um, XLF or anything in that financial sector it may be trying to come back if we look at like BAC we're struggling here with this little consolidation trying Citibank trying Goldman Sachs has been holding up better than others and you can see nice little consolidation here and pushing up toward that 50 this morning so you might want to keep an eye on those stocks other places you might want to look ETFC is another one of those financial uh, type companies holding up in here um, E-Trade trying to push higher um, in the market. Kroger is another place you might want to keep an eye on. Kroger, uh, obviously grocery stores have done pretty well during this crisis with all of the band out there and everybody staying home. Take a look at Kroger breaking through some resistance here and trying to power higher. Don't be too surprised if this consolidates a little bit more, but keep an eye on that stock. You know, there's more stocks here than I could potentially cover in a day um, that are setting up. We have a Starbucks looking good. We have MCD trying to uh, move up. We have Square trying to push some resistance levels. We have um, Coca-Cola. Now, Coke has been pulling back, but I'm keeping an eye on this chart, there may be an opportunity coming here. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so lots of stocks holding in these levels below their 50-day moving average, pushing up. We'll just want to keep an eye on them um, as we move along. Uh, last but not least, take a look at Ulta. Ulta Beauty has been holding up in this consolidation, trying to break through that 50. Um, just stocks everywhere. Um, gamers, um, EA had a beautiful breakout here on Friday. Popping through, looks like it's gapping higher. Take a look at EA Act division all of those are looking pretty strong so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic monday i want to wish you great success and i want to say thank you to everyone who does watch these videos and and um, click those subscribe buttons and the thumbs up i truly truly appreciate it y'all have a great day i wish you great success and we'll talk to you all right back here bright and early tuesday morning have a good one